good evening, citizens, squatters and migrants of the planet Earth. Allow me first to apologize for this diversion to the comfortable, blissfully ignorant pleasures of your daily lives. I do, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of everyday routine, the security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition. I enjoy them as much as any other terrestrial, but in the spirit of commemoration, thereby those important events of the past usually associated with someone's death at the end of some awful bloody struggle, a celebration of a nice holiday. I thought we could mark this 13th of November, this solar eclipse, a story that is sadly no longer remembered, by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are of course those who do not want us to speak. I suspect even now, orders are being shouted across the internet, and men with bots and scripts will soon be on their way to fight their insignificant battles in dark quarters nobody else cares to know about. Why? Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with a civilization. Isn't there? Cruelty and injustice. Intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit. You now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well certainly there are those more responsible than others. And they will be held accountable. But again truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War. Terror. Disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic you turned to your governments for guidance and protection. They promised you order. They promised you peace. And all they demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. Over the last 400 years, we have sought to end that silence. Over the last decade, we have destroyed the old veil of ignorance cast upon you. To remind you of what you have forgotten, more than 400 years ago a great industry came forth to construct the framework for civilization forever in our tribal anarchist culture. Our hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice, teamwork and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives that must be upheld at all costs. So if you have seen nothing, if the crimes of your governments remain unknown to you then I would suggest you allow this recent eclipse to pass without a single glance of contemplation. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me every day from the eclipse of 13th of November onward, to speak for those who cannot speak, to stand for those who cannot stand, to fight for those who cannot fight, and together we shall give the self-proclaimed rulers of our world a wake-up call that shall never, ever be forgot.